Welcome everyone, my name is Karthik and here is a very short video giving you a quick overview about my entire training program on HP Quick Test Professional. About 10 minutes or lesser, I'll try and guide you through all that is important for you to know as part of the training. So the first thing that will come to your team is what do we try and master as part of this course? How do we go about mastering them? And then uh, some of the frequently asked questions, I have some answers to you for. So what do we master? The beginning part of mastering is that we talk about how do we work with these things called as objects that QTP recognizes. How does it store them? How does it work with them? What is the overall user interface that the tool has? How do we know which feature to use when? And the automation in basic. How do we move away from manual testing into automation? Where do we start from? How do we start to plan and build and design them? All right. Do note that this is not a training program that focuses on the record and run or the checkpoints or actions because that's very basic and that is not what the industry wants. There are tutorials around it, but that is not the focus for it. Most importantly, the focus is around VB scripting. How do we start to customize these tests extensively? How do you start to program them? And what about descriptive programming? So these are the core focus areas. Everything that is done as part of the training that I show to you as I take different live applications and execute them as projects is all done through VB scripting and most of them through descriptive program. More importantly, how do we apply all of these concepts and build different types of frameworks? That could be a simple data driven framework or a keyword driven framework or a combination framework called a hybrid framework. Each of these take about 6-7 hours to explain. It is not something that I can take in 20 minutes and say that this is data driven framework or keyword and so on. No. It takes a step-by-step -step approach about implementing them. We plan these frameworks, we then design how we're going to go about creating them and then we're going to build them, test it out and then run to see how the results come out at the end. How do we go about mastering them? So the core focus team is this huge collection of videos which is 100 plus hours on various aspects of QTP. That is the core. Whatever, however you choose to learn, 85% of my participants worldwide, I get over 200 new trainees every month joining for this program and they all choose the video option, at least 85% of them. Okay, They consist of about 60 plus hours of different live batch videos. So basically when I schedule live webinars, I record these each of 15 sessions, 15 hour sessions in each live webinar and also put them as videos for people to access. All right, And these are like mini projects, a very fast track kind of a thing. So you have four different types of those available. Uh, and then you have a mega folder called as the recorded topics folder which has about uh, I would say about 60 odd videos in total over 50 hours of content. All of these videos if someone wants to really drill down into QTP, we start with the basics, we then slowly start going into the advanced topics and implement a lot of these things. You can directly take them into projects or interviews and so on. So that's your core. This is the core package that comes. You can watch them, you can continue to repeat them, pause, play and so on and practice it whenever you want. You will have a one year access. Okay. If someone is looking at interviews coming up or projects coming up, you can take one of these live batch videos of 15 hours and continue it. So you get an overall idea about how the tool works in a very practical environment. Then you can go about max mastering it. So you have a one year access with the video option and you can always extend it for an additional year and so on by paying a very small difference at the time. Then we have something called as a live webinars. Live webinars has become more optional and it will continue to become uh, a fewer live webinars as I go along as more and more people are only interested in the video collection. Live webinars typically has a way for you to interact with. These are online live webinars conducted typically during weekday evenings in the US time and you can join in from anywhere in the world and see what I'm doing. 
there are over 50 to 100 participants in these live webinars and most of the questions come in as very common questions. Okay, they're repetitive questions. But your real questions that you encounter or challenges are through practice. And that's where we connect you to a member community which has over 1300 members. All of my part, uh, past participants in QTP and all of the candidates put their questions in that group. So you can search for an answer. You may already find an answer for your problem or you can post a new question in the group. I have a small technical help desk team which is also monitoring these groups and trying to assist you as you go forward with the learning. The member community, you have a lifetime access. The videos, you have a one year access. But the member community, as you master it, now you have access to all the scripts and everything and that's all out of the member community. Finally, there is a lot that I'm doing uh, continuing to achieve on the placements. How do you and creating tests for you to assess yourself and different assignments for you to continue to practice. So that's the overall thing that's coming up. So the video collection that I talked about, 100 plus hours, the recorded topics has the following uh, different sections. Starts with the basic overview about QTP and VB scripting for about 6 hours. Actions and checkpoints, a very optional thing but good to know. But most importantly, how do you work with VB script functions and Excel? How do you read and write from Excel document, Microsoft Excel? Then we go about creating different types of framework. We start with the data driven framework using excels and data tables. Then we also go a little more advanced using arrays. So different concepts explained using different applications. We then go about understanding the basics and the fundamentals of descriptive programming, smart identification, ordinal interface and so on. We take all of these learnings that you come across and how you work with dynamic applications and environment variables and so on, then start to uh, apply them in more complex keyword driven frameworks. And these use the one which is very small is a shared object repository. But most importantly, there's another one using descriptive programming where this framework can be taken, customized and implemented on any application that you need. So a lot of participants take these scripts that we generate in the class in these videos and directly use them on their project. Then we go into hybrid framework. How do you connect with different databases or .NET factory? How do you work with Microsoft Word, file system objects? Uh, how do you go about shell scripting or Mercury device replay and various other topics and such. At the end of this recorded topics, you will see one folder which talks about how what kind of a challenges do we typically face uh, during project implementation for automation tools? How do you prepare yourself for interview? How do you prepare yourself to put your projects in the proper manner in your resume? And how do you come about giving an overview about frameworks? Because that's the skill that you're having, honestly, which a lot of QTP community worldwide lacks right now. Then apart from that, you have the four live batch videos that I just explained. Now let's get quickly into some uh, frequently asked questions. So the core focus, as I mentioned, is all programming. You can be starting from anywhere, doesn't matter. Someone even beginning to the IT industry. But I show you how we slowly, gradually learn and master this. As you continue to repeat the same sessions, you will master them. It's a very project based. I talk about how we do it in a very real environment. And there's a lot of clarity in the presentations and how you try and understand them. Okay. There's no specific prerequisite. Uh, there is, it starts with a zero level and goes to advanced. Some members may take a little longer to learn, more time to practice than the others. That's the only difference. But you could be anyone um, in any part of your career who's planning to move to automation testing, then QTP is a good tool and hence uh, there's no prerequisite because of where we start. But yes, you need to be patient because it takes time and effort to start. So the first one or two weeks to in install the tool and so on will take some time. Once you get the grip of it, then you're flowing very smoothly from there. So live or videos is a big question. As I explained to you, videos are the core. They're mandate. Those are the things that you have a year access. Once you get the access to the video, a lot of people join every day. They get instant access to the videos within 24 hours. And once they start watching, they're able to decide if they think still that they want to come back to the live. Only about 10% of members continue to come back to live webinars and so on. Because most questions come to you when you practice. So that's where uh, you have your Google group and technical support to help you there. You have a welcome pack which will talk about installation documents. How do you access the videos? How do you access the group that is sent to you within 24 hours? 
you can always upgrade to live webinars at a later point start with videos now start watching then if you still feel there's a need you can always upgrade so there's the other big question QTP or Selenium both are very very popular QTP has been there for a long time there are a lot of people with that skill there are more jobs with that skill so there's more competition to you more jobs Selenium is a comparatively newer tool but it's really getting into a rapid fire and then you are uh, have a lesser competition but also lesser number of jobs with it. either tool is good to start with both tools is excellent if you need to take a choice between which tool to start then I would suggest QTP to begin with because it's compared to a little more uh, non-complex to implement and so on but otherwise either tool is good for you to start so as you go along the question and answers for each videos you start appearing in Google group start putting it there and you'll also see my technical help desk team which is monitoring and helping you out with it. there is a placement program which is uh, very active ongoing right now and you could participate as part of it uh, the training in the placement program at the moment it is a US based only but I'm looking to expand in UK and India also over the near future uh, end of training the primary thing that you walk away with this training is not just what you've learned but the fact that you build a lot of confidence and trust me when I say this when you go and appear for interviews just be with confidence because what you are exposed to in this training what you have learned in this training is of a very high standard when you talk these things you are really creating a very huge impact with the audience in the interviews so now it's a decision time I would suggest go to qtplearn.com uh, watch the demo videos I have over half a million views in my channel there uh, over 1400 subscribers and it's a very very active YouTube community you can watch the demo videos watch for more information there and then welcome to qtplearn.com from there thank you everyone bye for now